We've been presenting like this for two years, so it's time to break down the setup. Welcome to the film look. Thanks to Premium Beat for providing the music we used in this episode. We recommend you check them out whenever you need a great track for your film. Visit their royalty free library to see what we mean. We've added a link in the description below. Let's start off with the space that we used to shoot in and the floor plan of our studio. To give us as much control over the lightning in the room as possible, we start off by blocking out all of the light coming through the window. Since the window is nearly 3 meters high, we use a large blackout curtain which we clip to the window. Then we use a large fold out backdrop which we wedge between a tripod head and the ceiling. We didn't say this was going to be pretty. Next, we hook up a frosted shower curtain up to the ceiling, which is one meter away from where we present. Then we place a large light behind to create a large soft source. The light we use is a nice photo 330 watt LED set to 5600 Kelvin at 10% brightness and is around about two meters away from the shower curtain. We have a video review all about the nice photo light here if you want to check it out. Before we got this light, we used our soft boxes and placed them right next to the shower curtain. We've had these soft boxes for about 5 years now and they have a green tint, so we were always correcting the colour in the white balance settings on the camera or in the edit. More on colour correction later on. Here is a side by side comparison between the two different lights. Next, we add a background and a hair light by using a household bulb which is attached to the bookcase via a can light. On the front of the can light is DIY diffusion paper to make the light softer and also a cardboard flag to stop the light from spilling too much on the presenter. We have a video about the DIY diffusion paper right here. Finally, we tape a DIY cardboard flag to stop the light from hitting the background as it is shiny photo paper. And then we use this practical light which is a light up clapperboard on the shelf. Links to all of the equipment can be found in the description below. To shoot the presenting we use our Sony A7S Mark I which is around about 1 meter away. We use a Canon 50mm lens set to 2.8 with a shutter of 1 50th and an ISO of 160. We present right in front of Richard's desk which we raise to standing height. We do this as we do not have a teleprompter so we can read the script for the episode right off the screen. When it comes to the presenting parts like this one when we're talking directly to the camera we just have to memorise the lines and we don't always get it on the first take. I did that time though which is not meant to happen. For sound we boom a Rode NTG3 on a C stand just out of shot above us. We use a smart rig which converts an XLR cable into a 3.5mm cable and provides phantom power to the microphone so we can feed the signal directly into the camera. When recording the parts of the script where we are not presenting directly to the camera, we still roll video. We do this to help keep the audio consistent throughout the whole recording. Also, it will be a bit of a faff to set up another audio recorder for this setup. The time it takes to shoot the presenting of each episode depends on the length of the script, but having the same setup helps us save time. In the edit we cut it all together with the other footage from the episode and then colour correct and grade the shot. The standard profile we shoot with on the Sony A7S Mark I has a flat look to it, so we add contrast and bring up the highlights just to make the image pop. And that's it, the setup is a bit makeshift and DIY, but it works for us. If you have any questions about the setup, let us know in the comments below, we'd love to hear what you think and if you do anything similar. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and remember, achieve it one shot at a time.